We're Rabblefish here on the Denver Loft Sessions, right here, right now. My first and last name is Adam Bodine. I am originally from Chicago, but I am from here in Colorado now, and I play keyboards. My name is Matt Amundsen. I am a drummer, and I was born in Delta, Colorado. Paul McDaniel, Denver, I uh, play bass. I'm Chris Malley, originally from Connecticut, 
Boulder, Colorado right now, and I play guitar. I wrote it the same day that NASA had released a bunch of recordings of, um, of lightning on Jupiter, like open source recordings, and I actually worked it into the demo recording a little bit, even though our drummer claims it doesn't exist. I'd say it's just sort of uh, this weird jazz, funk, rock mix. When 
you're at Red Rocks for a hike or a concert, did you know you can do your part to keep one of Denver's favorite parks clean? Friends of Red Rocks is a large volunteer organization that cleans up the park monthly and during shows. They do their cleanup thing on the last Saturday of each month and meet in the south lot. Go online for more info. And remember, when you're at the Rocks this year, partying at Shakedown Street in the south lot, or tossing a football and bumping the base in the north, please pick up after yourself. If you enjoy the arts, which are a big part of civic life, then stay informed on other civic things by watching award-winning local TV programs and city council meetings live and on demand every day on Denver 8 TV. Denver music fans know how lucky we are to have the world-class concert venue Red Rocks right in our backyard. This season's concert schedule is filling up fast, so check online for when your favorite artists will be playing. Many of the same production pros that bring you the Denver Loft Sessions also produce another great show on Denver 8 TV, Red Rocks Premieres. Go online for more information and schedules for both shows, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube. So whether you're enjoying your favorite music outside at The Rocks, or on your couch with Denver ATV, we'll keep you rocking all year long. It means fish that's perfectly good to eat, but the market rejects it because it doesn't look like the other fish. <laughs>
Wow, uh, Denver music scene is uh, improving every day. I mean, I grew up here and it's always been a great scene, but it seems like every day there's new venues and lots of great musicians mu moving here and it feels great to be here. I'll start by saying that uh, the Denver Loft Sessions is the greatest thing to ever hit the Denver music scene in at least 750 years. Um, and then also with that, I think there's a lot of really, really talented, fantastic, wonderful musicians in this town as well. Snowflowers, uh, one of my tunes, and um, was trying to come up with a title for that one. And my wife just happened to look out the back window, and there were all these flowers coming up through the snow in the spring.
it is a cosmic, uplifting experience like none other. Yeah, there's like people who, what do they say, the reborn or something like that, rebirth. This is kind of like that. It's it's uh, it's like you ever have the flu and you get like the chills. It's like that, but in a good way. If you enjoy the arts, which are a big part of civic life, then stay informed on other civic things by watching award-winning local TV programs and city council meetings live and on demand every day on Denver 8 TV. Denver music fans know how lucky we are to have the world-class concert venue Red Rocks right in our backyard. This season's concert schedule is filling up fast, so check online for when your favorite artists will be playing. Many of the same production pros that bring you the Denver Loft Sessions also produce another great show on Denver 8 TV, Red Rocks Premieres. Go online for more information and schedules for both shows, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube. So whether you're enjoying your favorite music outside at the Rocks, or on your couch with Denver 8 TV, we'll keep you rocking all year long. I don't know, somewhere between Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt, I don't know. You know. How many people have used that joke? Um, the drummer of this band, Matt Amundsen, I think he would do a great job. It would have to be someone smart and sophisticated and, and good looking, like uh, maybe like Adam Bodine. It's still Yul Brenner, and I believe he's still dead.
Tiffany Christopher is a major new talent who's developed a mastery of multi-instrumental musicianship and a fine-tuned skill for songwriting. Tiffany Christopher and her band Hunting Party are coming to the next Denver Loft Sessions.